Hello there, welcome to the perfume experience. Welcome back to another fragrance review and uh, today we are going to talk to you about uh, fragrances from the house of Almaham and uh, these are specifically uh, dupes of popular Roja fragrances. Now uh, you do know that Almaham let's say uh, is one of the uh, good houses in India which has got a good uh, type of or rather good quality of oils available and one of the good things that they have is a very good collection of niche fragrances especially niche dupes and they have uh, in my opinion a very good list of Roja fragrances okay now uh, as you know Roja fragrances are considered as you know some people consider them as the pinnacle of uh, ultimate luxury and so therefore the uh, Creations are very complex. They have a lot of notes, and you know, uh, a lot. Typically, a lot of notes, right? And their complex, uh, the fragrances are very complex to break down. The way they smell is very, very different to most of the other fragrances that we have kind of you know smelled. So. If you've been aspiring to try and get some Roja fragrances, then uh, it is a good uh, thing to have because they are quite expensive and uh, there are dupes available, of, but generally of a couple of fragrances. But uh, Almaham has a good amount of uh, you know a list of Roja fragrances, and I have had. Uh, these for uh, more than a year now so in fact I think last year July August is sometime when I got it but I never got around to review these fragrances and I thought you know let me do it now because I had about seven days to try different fragrances so I carried them here so I have 10 fragrances and we're going to talk about 10 one uh, 10 of them and let's get into this video without much further ado and you're watching the perfume experience my name is Rodney let's get going right after this All right, so welcome back. So like I said, I have 10 fragrances and for uh, the ease of this particular video, what I've done is broken it down into certain categories of fragrances because that it makes it easier for you to figure out what fragrances for you to get, when you want to wear them, what kind of you know note profile do they uh, generally have, right? So the first two fragrances that I want to talk to you about is uh, the fragrances called as Rosha Qatar and Roja United Arab Emirates, so which are UAE, so right? So both of these are Middle Eastern fragrances. So the scent profile is very much towards a Middle Eastern type of a fragrance, right? So what do I mean by that? So th I mean that they do have Oud, they have a bit of the Pan Masala type of a vibe as well. So they have that going, but they're slightly different, okay? So now, uh, you know, with 10 fragrances, it's very difficult to kind of identify and say which is exactly which. So that's why I kind of made some notes. So uh, Roja fragrance, First one let's talk about is Qatar, right? Now the Qatar is, like I said, has got that nice pan uh, person type of a vibe. So it's got that sweetness, it's got that uh, spicy element, it's got that fruity floral uh, vibe as well. It's got a bit of oud going for it. And most importantly, the Qatar has got a ca cotton candy vibe. So think about it that way that the uh, pan masala vibe that you kind of get that, uh, you know, fresh, uh, uh, sweet, um, you know, pan type of a vibe that comes also because of the cotton candy and the oud coming together okay now of course this also has got other elements like uh, a lot of oriental elements like saffron or you know woody elements so all of this has got a very nice opening a sweet uh, you know f uh, you know a uh, very beautiful luxurious type of an opening and in the dry down you get a very oud kind of a dry down now the performance of these fragrances are fantastic almost all of them give you about five six hours easily in fact i would say roja qatar kind of you know has got a very loud projection so be uh, you know ominous of the number of uh, you know sprays that you want to do very beautiful smelling fragrance very different to what you typically wear uh, but yes it does a very typical middle eastern type of a fragrance vibe so this is roja qatar okay now uh, this is excellent for evening wear for parties for um, uh, if you want to if you're traveling to the middle east and you want to smell like how the middle eastern smell then yes on the other hand, the Roja UAE also has got a slight nuance like this. But however, what changes in this is, uh, this has got a little bit more of a floral vibe, especially when I think about a rose oud kind of a combo, okay? It has a similar type of a sweet opening. It has that similar type of a pan person, uh, you know, uh, song, uh, fresh, uh, freshness, that same sweet type of an opening as well. However, this has got a lot more muskier approach to it as well. It's got a lot more oud going, a little bit of a more of a spicier element that comes. Though there is sweetness, though there is a little bit of a spicier element that comes. Whereas Qatar has got a little bit more of that cotton candy vibe, which is 
not the case in the United Arab Emirates. That is more of a, a sweet, oud, floral, musky, that kind of a vibe, which is very, very nice. Now, both, in my opinion, are excellent evening wear kind of a fragrance, okay? So, that would be one way of categorizing these fragrances. So, Middle Eastern type of Roja Qatar and uh, definitely you can think about UAE. I do also have Oman with me, but I couldn't carry that. In fact, it was in a different vial. So, I mean, it, it, so if you look at these are the 10 ml decants that they have. Uh, these are the older bottles currently he has those you know tall bottles right so i have the oman in the tall bottle option so i couldn't uh, carry that i forgot about that right next let's go on to another category of fragrances which i feel are uh, <clears throat> inspired from european and uh, the north american region now this is basically one of them is called manhattan and the other is called uh, harrods okay so uh, manhattan and harrods and let's talk about manhattan now manhattan and harrods both are uh, typically fresh type of fragrances. They have uh, citrusy uh, openings, but if I were to talk about Manhattan especially, it has got a more citrusy, spicy kind of a nature and it has also got a little bit of the spiciness coming from tobacco in it so it's got tobacco it's got vetiver uh, oriental spicy elements and of course it's got a little bit of uh, uh, coconut so there is that tropical vibe also that you kind of get in this fragrance after it settles down after a few minutes time so primary element of course is that citrusy spicy element but then you have a nice uh, slight hint of uh, heliotrope um, and then coconut uh, coming together the uh, spicy element of vetiver also is very uh, approachable because you do have the tobacco coming so that also works very well then it's got that uh, mossy vibe so it's more of a, a tropical kind of a fragrance citrusy uh, aromatic coconutty tropical type of a fragrance that's what manhattan is okay now whereas harrods on the other hand uh, is uh, based out of the uk uh, region okay so the european uh, part of it this has got a more uh, this also has got citrus elements but it, the approach is more towards green uh, herbaceous spicy mossy kind of a vibe with a lot of spice element now there is slight sweetness here because of that citrusy um, coconut vibe but here it is more of um, um, stronger citrus elements, bitter elements that are there. I think there's also bitter orange in this, but there is also neroli which brings that bitter element. So there's a lot of zesty, uh, citrusy zestiness that I would say that is associated with this. Along with this, there is also patchouli, there is juniper also that you can kind of you know feel. But I would say more of a green, uh, citrusy type of a fragrance is what Harrods says. Okay, so uh, but if you look at when you can wear them, they are mostly uh, day wear kind of fragrances. They're good citrusy, green, aromatic type of a day wear type of fragrances that you can definitely consider. Okay, so one is Manhattan. Okay, and one is uh, Harrods. Okay, so think about Manhattan as more of citrusy, spicy, tropical one. Whereas Harrods more of green, um, aromatic, uh, spicy kind of a fragrance. Okay, so both of them have got citrus, both of them have got spice elements. Again, last thing is pretty good. You get about five, six hours easily. Uh, Siage uh, is good. Projection is about decent. I would say you do get about two, two and a half feet of projection, but they perform really, really well. They smell very, very nice. Uh, so you can definitely try these two as well. Then I, I feel there's a category of these uh, two fragrances which are uh, like I would say, you know, um, artistic. Okay, now the reason why I would use the word artistic is because the way these two are constructed, you, you don't really think that, you know, by looking at the notes that they would smell like this, but they are fantastic. So one is called a Midsummer Dream. Okay, uh, now Midsummer Dream, Dream is more for me like a, a sweet caramel uh, type of a fragrance which has got a kind of a resinous uh, texture to it. It's got a lot of benzoin, uh, smoky elements and that's exactly what I've written as well. A lot of orris butter, you know, so that kind of a vibe, right? So it feels like uh, it's taken in, uh, you know, a little bit of a Greek, um, you know, uh, form where, you know, you have a little bit of that uh, smoky elements, you have that uh, benzoin, that kind of a vibe very different very nice it's got a very um, oh my nose uh, it's got a very sharp kind of opening as well uh, it's it's good for date nights i would say because it's got a bit of vanilla as well so it's got this um, dense opening but then at the same time it's it's pretty nice uh, it's it's very difficult to actually gauge this or you know explore, explain this particular fragrance but it's something that you should definitely try from a very artistic point of view <clears throat> 
And now there's another fragrance which I absolutely love. This was um, something I think I really feel this is like a work of art. This is called the uh, Chappé Extraordinaire. Okay, it's called Chappé Extraordinaire, and uh, Almaham calls it the Chappé Extraordinaire. The, the Chappé. Okay. Now this has got a uh, typical nuances of all of the Chappé elements. It's got patchouli. It's got citruses. It's got uh, powdery elements. Uh, it's got a lot of things going. But if you if you want to smell, uh, how does it smell? Think about you put on ponds powder, right? You you like ponds powder. If you like ponds powder, think about this fragrance smells like that from the opening go. So this is a hundred percent powdery kind of a fragrance. Okay, so the moment you put it on, you smell like powder. It's got that powder, exact like ponds type of an opening. That powdery element, that sweetness, that floral vibe. You know, it's got a lot of. Um, uh, I think vanilla, aldehydes, uh, citrus elements. It's got uh, violet. It's got lavender, uh, sandalwood. So a lot of those powdery, dry, woody elements, and that's what makes a uh, shippe a very, very unique type of fragrance for me. And the reason why I said it art because, uh, of course, because we have smelled ponds as a powder, so it's very easy to kind of you know get a reference point for this particular fragrance. But if you haven't tried those kind of powders, uh, talcum powders. And you actually want to try a fragrance that smells like that? Then this is just superb. The way it kind of smells, it's got that very pleasant, calm, uh, you know, calming effect on you. Uh, it smells very nice in the evenings. It's fantastic if you're wearing it outside anywhere. Uh, it leaves a very beautiful trail and smells absolutely fantastic. So from an artistic point of view, I would say. Midsummer Dream uh, and I would say Shippe. Now Midsummer Dream, you can think about it as a dense, resinous, smoky, caramel type of a thing. Not exactly gourmand, but more of a Middle Eastern uh, smoky type of a fragrance. Whereas the Shippe is more of a powdery, uh, very composing, calm, beautiful type of a fragrance. So these are the next two. Okay. Then we'll move to uh, two beautiful fragrances, which are. In my opinion, it's one of the nicest um, fresh fragrances that you can look at, right? So one is, of course, uh, Roja Oceania. Okay, now Oceania is actually a more softer, citrusy, um, aromatic type of fragrance. Uh, though the name is Ocean uh, Oceanic, you don't actually get aquatic or marine type of vibes at all. You don't get those vibes. You get more of a orange butter, vanilla kind of a vibe, which has got that. A beautiful. Uh, it, it's got a sharp citrus opening. Okay, no doubt about it. It's got a very sharp citrusy, powdery type of an opening. When you smell up close, it also has got a very green type of a vibe as well. But <clears throat> the sillage is soft. The projection is softer on this particular fragrance. And after a few minutes, it's the orange butter, uh, like you know, the opening. That that's what takes this uh, particular fragrance in a very in a very different way. And it smells very very nice if you uh, if you just want to smell like a zesty lemony type of a fragrance uh, where you know no hassles no uh, thinking too much a, a fragrance that's very mass pleasing i would say is oceania now totally on the other side is uh, 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 you know elysium which is this is the porom uh, parfum edition which is citrusy fresh loud woody zesty musky leather now the leather on this is very minimal, but it, the more of those fruity, woody vibes is something that you will absolutely enjoy. Um, so you you do get plenty of uh, you know um, Elysium alternates out there. Uh, so in fact, I told Nasim's Ocean Enigma is a, is a blend of both, and I quite uh, really say that because it smells like absolutely like the blend of these two fragrances coming together. Both are citrusy fragrances. Both have got aromatic uh, vibes, but sli they slightly change in the way uh, they dominate. Like this, uh, which is uh, your Shippe, uh, sorry, the Oceania has got more of an uh, iris, uh, you know, uh, uh, that kind of a vibe. Whereas this is more of a Elysium is more towards a woody kind of a vibe. So both are extremely good day wear type of fragrances, fresh fragrances that if you want to consider wearing, these are fantastic to wear. Then the next two fragrances are actually, uh, you know, uh, are a different category altogether. So these are basically gourmand fragrances. Now there are two, and I did get one with me. The other one I, uh, I left back at home, which is. Candy wood. One of them is candy wood. The other one is called sweetie wood. Okay. Now, candy wood is actually got. Um, it's a very unique type of fragrance because it actually uh, has got banana. Okay. It's got banana. It's got uh, apples. It's got pear. Uh, it's got plum. 
and this mixed with oud so you can think about it you know it's a very very different type of a concoction in fact i put it on a few minutes back so it's got a very dense um, caramel uh, fruity the when you, when you say fruity not fresh fruit fruits that have been um, dipped in liquor or uh, a f- f- uh, fruits that are going through a uh, fermentation process you know so something like that and along with 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 the, with the uh, element of orris butter oriental elements it kind of smells very very different and um, it's it's got the moment you smell it you you will immediately connect with banana because banana is a very uh, you know uh, evident note on this but the way the banana works with other fruits is something uh, very very unique uh, it's a very cautious type of a fragrance uh, Though the bottle appears very uh, candy, eye catchy, I would say that you have to take a uh, you know rain check before you actually put this on because it smells very different. Okay, and uh, it, it smells nice, but it is it, it's, it's a, it could also be a fragrance that might repulse some people as well. Okay, so you got to be a little careful about trying on candy wood. Now the same thing can be said about sweetie wood as well. Now sweetie wood is 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 going one more step further. If you think this is um got a 2 two and a half feet of projection smoke uh, uh, sweetie wood actually goes 3 feet plus because that is actually got um dates okay it's got dates it's got candied fruits uh, it's got oud it's got a lot of things going it's a uh, dark dense uh, think about a date syrup that's mixed with oud and mixed with a lot of fruits smells absolutely wonderful that smells absolutely wonderful and you will most likely get compliments for it but uh, you know you will not repulse anybody very loud very beautiful dark uh, you know very beautiful fragrance you just need a couple of sprays of it and it will last for a long time it smells absolutely amazing especially in colder times right so again evening wear kind of a fragrance so that that those are the 10 fragrances that i thought from almaham especially in terms of rosa fragrances that you should definitely explore so if i were to just sum up very quickly i would say that uh, you have the middle eastern orient uh, you know uh, oriented fragrances which is qatar and uh, you know united arab emirates uh, the united arab emirates is more for oud rose type of a combo whereas qatar is going for more of the pan and uh, the little bit of that uh, cotton candy white right then you have the uh, the uh, uh, north american and european uh, you know oriented fragrances which is um, midsummer which has got that green uh, vibe uh, i mean uh, which has got that summer citrusy vibe and then you have uh, harrods which has got a more green spicier element then the artistic fragrances are a, a midsummer dream and then of course the shipper the shipper is something that you should absolutely enjoy if you are looking for a world class a uh, shipper with patchouli with citruses powdery absolute bliss yes and then of course the gourmand fragrances a uh, sweetie wood and of course uh, candy wood both are fantastic fragrances definitely try sweetie wood uh, without uh, you know without doubts you can absolutely easily try it then of course the most uh, prominent dayware kind of fragrances oceania and elysium both are similar type of citrusy fragrances but i feel oceania has got a little bit more of that orris butter iris type of a vibe whereas elysium has got a more of a woody element to it along with that sweetness of that citrusy spicy elements right so yes uh, these are available with almaham i'll drop in their number you can get in touch with them and get, try this fragrances for yourself if you want to explore roja fragrances i might have another video coming uh, of their newer offerings let's have a look at that as well sometime later any other videos or any other fragrance houses that you would like me to review again do let me know in the comments and i'll happily meet you on another video until another time take care bye bye